moment is more of a bit of fun, I guess. I would say so, but of course when they line up, they'll take it seriously and, and then do their best. But I think, I think this is this is the fun fun part of the World Cup series. Yeah, nice to have a bit of fun as well. Yeah. And and actually, for some of these paddles, just to get on a start line, start line again. And as you said, if if you're a New Zealand paddle and you don't have the start boots, uh, then just to get in into those and experience an international start is an important thing. Yeah, for sure. So, C2 mixed 500 meter final. I also think it's good for, for team members because obviously boys and... So, he brings those together. That's a good point. Now we'll have Viraj Bala and Adam Fikit in in lane one for Hungary. There they are, Bala it, uh, in the front there. And Fabian Schatz and Isabel Zanin from Germany are in two. There they are. A little bit of a discrepancy in size. It's like um, it's like Brendel and Hecker, isn't it? In, uh, that we saw previously taking the win in the C2000. It's interesting to, to see if, like how they decide who goes in front, whether the girl or the boy goes in front, and looks like they're changing it up in every crew. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Because it gives you options, and then they can decide, the paddlers can decide, and the coaches, well, what's going to be best? And it's nice to have that bit of variety in a race. We've got the Canadians there. We can see Sophia Jensen and Alex Plomto in lane three. Andre Rybachok, very experienced Romanian paddler in the front of that Romanian boat and Anastasia Chetverikova who normally paddles C2 with Ludmila Lutzan who we saw receive her gold medal from the C1 event a little bit earlier. Liu Hao and Sun Mengya, the Chinese, go in lane five. Tyler Laidlaw and Julia Osend from Canada go in six. There they are. And then we'll have Alexander Kituski and Sylvia Skrbinska. Another medal winner. She was in the C1 just earlier this morning. They're in seven. Mihai Chihaya and Maria Olarasu from Moldova go in eight. And David Koryansky and Kingsho Takash from Hungary will be in nine. Katarina Spurs-Kejewicz, who's in the Polish boat. She was the bronze medalist in the women's C1 500 meters behind Ludmila Lutzan and Lisa Jan. Going through into the early afternoon. This is the mixed C2 500 meters. This is not an Olympic event, but remember the Olympics are very keen. The IOC are very keen to have mixed events. We've got mixed relays in the likes of, of athletics and of swimming and triathlon and so we're doing it in our own special way and sprint canoe Chinese going well at the moment China actually have the record 144 is the world best time for this there they are in lane five looking pretty good at the moment a lot of the crews choosing to put the man in front but not every crew necessarily and the Chinese leading there in lane four at the minute lane three that white boat going well also um, at the moment White boat, that's Sophia Jensen, Alex Plomto from Canada in lane three. So they're just on the right hand side of your picture. China in the middle, maybe still leading at the moment. Poles are up there as well. Just have a look as they go through. So China have got a pretty commanding lead. Still just behind them are the Canadians in lane three. It looks Qu like a tight race for second and third. It does, doesn't it? Yeah, and it looks like China's maybe pulling away, but the Canadians got to keep it together. And the Canadians one of the few crews that have the woman in front and the man behind, but it's going well for those two at the moment. But actually, some of the other crews coming up as well as we see the Ukrainians, very experienced, Rybachok in the front of there, Chetverikova behind him. I should say, actually, Chetverikova is in the front and Rybachok uh, is behind. They're in the red boat, and it looks like they're looking to try and move through into second place, but nobody's going to deny the Chinese of a gold medal in that. They've clear water between them and the rest of the field. And Ukraine and Canada. 
So Canada got away out early, got away well, didn't they? But they managed to hold on for that bronze medal. Yeah, that was that was impressive. And then Hungary came up at the end in the last 150 meters and almost got that bronze. Yeah, late charge from the Hungarians there. Kuriansky and Takash. So there we see the start. Important in the canoes, of course, very unstable. Important that they get away well. Certainly the Canadians did really, really well. And good middle part of that race. Maybe faded towards the end, but did enough to take that medal. But the Chinese really dominated. Using that really long stroke that is set up um, by Liu Hao. And they're uh, working well for them. Boat running pretty true. They had a long margin between them and the rest of the field. The Ukrainians, sorry. Yes, the Ukrainians came through late. Just managed to get their nose ahead of the Canadians. And top of the picture we had by that, forget. And interesting that the Ukrainians are both paddling on the right. And obviously did well. You, you see that. You see that a few times. Um, because we had such South American success at the Olympic Games as well, which takes this sport much broader than perhaps its European base. So there we see Chinese Quick one. time. Yeah, 1.45, not far from a world's best time, in fact, for Hao and Meng Ya.